Hello and welcome students how to add multiple users in Office 365 on the Practice Labs platform. And here in this project video, we're going to discuss and show you how you can add multiple user to the Office 365 as you have seen the previous video where, you, where we showed you the skills and the way to add a single user. But that's not really helping when you get a query like you have to add multiple user so here we're going to show you and examine the task and before starting and get into the task and the steps that we created for this video here let me tell you that you're going to use a trial account that you created by following our lab guide and also do not install these office products into your personal machine or in your computer and you, you should use the practice labs environment in the virtual machines we show you in the document to install these products so let's move to the practice labs platform and specifically for this video we're going to use the p11 10 the windows 10 client machine and we need to execute the windows explorer the microsoft edge no not the windows explorer the microsoft edge the browser and here we're going to type what the address and it is the polo.office.com and then we are going to use our login details and you're going to use your trial account and I'm going to use mine to show you the exact steps and let me give you a little look to your document the manual which you're going to follow throughout this lab and there you go you have this you will have this document and all the screenshots and possible steps that you need to take are all mentioned along with the graphical examples so once you have when when you have a look to this document definitely you will not get stuck or confused anywhere in the middle of this lab so let's move to the practice labs and perform all the steps so as you're successfully log in to the portal.office.com so let's over your mouse on the left top corner to the app launcher and click to the admin and it's going to open the admin center and you, you you should skip this for now and we're going to fix this issue in some coming videos but for this video let's stick to the topic and expand the user settings and click to the active user and there you're going to find the two user that we just created in the previous video and here you have few options and one of the option is add multiple users so we're going to select this one and here once you click here you will see some kind of visit that will provide you the details and instructions of the steps that you should take to add multiple user so here you have a a, a process where you need to upload a CSV file containing all the required multiple user details so what gonna happen when you upload that file to this portal it will automatically add all those users with the details that you provide so here they are providing the file with the format so we're going to download this CSV file and let's save this file and open the folder to access the file and it required Excel Microsoft Excel to run this file here on the practice lab platform but the thing is that these machines does doesn't have the office 65 products so let me show you a little shortcut what you can do right now at this moment you can switch back to the portal.office and directly click to the excel then click to a new blank workbook and you can open the file here on the excel the microsoft excel online on the cloud and you can edit the file here because you don't have the office 65 products on the machine and I already done that part for you for this video so after editing the file here on the Excel make sure to download that file into the practice labs machine and then again do what you can upload the file here so 
now I'm going to upload the file here so let's scroll down and click to the browse and here you have this user on the CSV file that I already created for this lab and it contained what all the same entries I just changed the name the username and the display name and this is the interesting part because here you can directly assign licenses to all of the newly created user so if you have multiple licenses you can simply select from here that we, we what are the licenses you're going to assign for these group of new users then click next and here it says users to add a three user it it detected that the three entries the three user you're going to add in the multiple fashion so let's click to add user and it will take a while to adding the new user and there you go you added three user it says and that's done successfully let's close and there you go you got three users here those are just added and you use the CSV format you you provide the details you mention each and everything in the file and then you uploaded the same file on this office issue have portal and all the work is done in an automatic fashion and that's what the purpose of this video so that's it for this lab